Beach FM, locals talking to locals. It's Marion Henderson. Marion, good morning and welcome to you. Thank you very much. Lovely to talk to you. Marion is a lovely lady. She loves her watercolours. And it seems to me, Marion, that you love New Zealand and you really love Carpety Island. That would be true, yes. How did you get onto this watercolour stuff? Was it, was it an early passion or a, a later in life awakening? It was certainly a later in life awakening. I um, retired and I needed something to do. So I went to the Capity Arts Society and I've joined oh. that. I took up watercolour, found it very challenging. And I've been doing it myself for years. So you went along, in Real Matty there, you went along to the classes and you got well, the they bug. Weren't, Sorry? They weren't really classes. Oh. No, we just went as a group. Yeah. And um, people would comment on your work. And it was it was something we learnt from each other. Right. Learn by doing. You know, in a way, yep. that's the very best way to learn, isn't it? When you've got uh, some colleagues there who uh, possibly are going through the same kind of challenges and, and you, in a, a community kind of way, you come up with some responses and there you are. You've got these yep. lovely paintings. Now, it, speaking of the community, you're involved in the Arts Trail in a kind of a community. You're part of a hub this time, aren't you? Yes, yes. This year, because City Raya was closing, um, four of us have got together at St Paul's Church Hall on Capity Road, opposite the airport tower. Mm, yes, indeed. And yes. it's a really good venue. So uh, you're getting together there, going to solve all the problems of the world, no, no, no doubt, and um, you'll have a, a nice little community time there at St Paul's. Look, Marion, I'm interested in why you took up watercolour, because watercolour is not simple, is it? This is no, quite a challenge. No, really, really tricky, and I've never really had lessons. I do my own thing. I think I've got my own style. Um, I do a lot of water scenes. I just oh. love painting water. Painting water. I love painting Capity Island. And I love painting all the beautiful lakes from down south. Oh, don't we live in a gorgeous country? We do. Just wonderful. Now, this water painting, as I understand, uh, there can be the occasional happy accident uh, as That's you're mixing true. the colours. Yes, it's fabulous when that happens. It doesn't happen often. <laughs> you can make terrible messes. <laughs> so, yeah. so in, in a way, you are learning as you're going in this as well because uh, there's a certain amount of experimentation going on, I guess. Yes, that's for sure. Does this mean you have to redo some of your paintings? Uh, you can't really do re watercolour. That's why it's so hard. Yes. So you've got to start uh, again, don't you? Yes, or try to restore it. But usually it's one go. Yeah. And I suppose that's part of the fascination with it. Now, is, is this um, a money maker? I'm, I'm sorry to be so crass, but uh, you obviously started off because you wanted something to do with your time. But has it transformed into, uh, well, I won't say an occupation, but a nice little earner that sort of supplements your other earnings? Uh, I don't earn anything else, but I, I don't think you make money out of painting. Um, the group of us who are at St Paul, um, we've all made money on the arts trail. Ah. And that's why we like going. Great. Well, one of the reasons. Well, so that, um, that means the arts trail is a really important part of the year for you. Absolutely. Oh, what a wonderful thing the council have done in that case yes, and, and keeping this going. Now, of course, yes. it's over two weekends now. That wasn't always the case. Do you find that the two weekends work out for you as well? They're OK, yes. Um, you're very tired at the end of them because you have to sit with your work or stay with your work for the Saturday and Sunday. 
from four to five. Yes, yes, indeed. So it's pretty exhausting, and we have to set it all up and then take it down. That's right. <laughs> between well, the weekends. Well, hopefully you don't have to take as many paintings home as as you took. Well, that would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, great stuff. So, okay, it's St Paul's Hub. I haven't actually told people when the Arts Trail is on. Do you know, Oh, Marianne? okay. Well, yes. It's on the first and second weekends in November. Mm-hmm. That's November the 2nd and 3rd and November the 9th and 10th. And the other people who are with me, I'll just... Oh, yes, please Give do. You their names yes, yes, because yes. they're really important people. There's Lydia McAllister, and she does um, mixed mediums and lots of colourful works and tiles and cards and lots of stuff. And then there's Linda Richardson, and she creates mosa- mosaics, yes. um, and she does fabulous mirrors with all this mosaic work ground right and birds and crosses and then we've got this exciting new artist sarah pole and she produces a diverse and inspired range of work and she's very talented she does illustrations i think she's doing illustrations for books and she does ceramic art work so we're looking forward to having her with us well, I think you've done a magnificent job. You you should come along to Beach FM and do the wireless bit as well, <laughs> no. Marion. You've done a great job there promoting the Arts Trail. So we're really well, looking forward to it. Thank you very much. It's been lovely talking to you. You enjoy okay, it, won't Dawn. you, dear? Okay, dear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. There we are. That is Marion Henderson. 106.3 Beach FM.